Friends, today we are discussing on MLT exam questions, which is conducted by M's Mangalagiri, M's Nagpur, and M's Raipur. These three exams were on the same pattern, and the total question were 60. I hope you will achieve your goal and knowledge with this video. So let's get started. Our first question is GUI stand for option A general user interface, option B graphical unique interface. Option C graphical user interface and option D graph use interface. Here GUI stands for graphical user interface. A graphical user interface is a computer interface that allows user to interact with a device through the graphical elements such as picture and animation. So we can say our correct option is option C graphic user interface. Our next question is which of the RBC antigen are Mendelian co-dominant? Option A RH antigen and H antigen. Option B antigen and RH antigen. Option C B antigen and RH antigen. And option D A antigen and B antigen. We know the A and B alleles are co-dominant. Therefore, if an A is inherited from one parent and a B from the other, the phenotype will be AB. So, our correct option is option D, A antigen and B antigen. Our next question is, commonest cause of transudative peritoneal fluid is, option A, malignancy, option B, tuberculosis, option C, acute bacterial infection, and option D congestive cardiac failure. Transudate death are most often caused by congestive heart failure, nephritic syndrome or hepatic cirrhosis. If the fluid is determined to be a transudate, then usually no more tests on the fluids are necessary. So our correct option is option D congestive cardiac failure. Commonest cause of transudative peritoneal fluid is congestive cardiac failure. Our next question is flowing causes steatoria. Option A E. coli, option B bile salt deficiency, option C bile pigment deficiency and option D both B and C. We know too much fat in fishes stool is called steatoria. It can be a sign of malabsorption. Stool may be bulky and difficult to flush. Have a pale and oily appearance and foul smelling. Bile salt are one of the primary components of bile. Bile is a greenish yellow fluid made by the liver and stored in our gallbladder. Bile salt help with the digestion of fat in our bodies. If bile salt deficient, the fat digestion not done properly and pass out in stool. So we can say our correct option is option B bile salt deficiency. Our next question is a laboratory receive request for HbA1c. Our option is collect 1 ml blood in 4 ml plain vacuum tube. Option B collect 3 ml blood in 3 ml sited vacuum tube. Option C collect 4 ml blood in 4 ml plain vacuum tube. And option D collect 4 ml blood in 4 ml EDTA vacuum tube. We know the sample collecting of HbA1c requires EDTA anticoagulant. This requires addition sample collection for the patient. So we estimated HbA1c sample collected in K3 EDTA. So our correct option is option D collect 4 ml blood in 4 ml EDTA vacuum tube. Our next question is the antibody titer of serum is defined as option A the highest dilution of the serum which give an observable reaction with antigen option B the highest dilution of the serum which give negative result with antigen option C the highest dilution of antigen with which the serum give an observable reaction option D the highest dilution of antigen an observable reaction with antibody we know a antibody titer is a type of blood test 
that determine the presence and level of antibody in the blood. For the test, a patient blood sample is diluted serially and incubate unknown antigen to determine the presence of antibody against these antigens. So we say our correct option is option A, the highest dilution of serum which give an observable reaction with antigen. Our next question is Cystosomia hematobium is associated with our option is option A cholangiocarcinoma, option B transition cell carcinoma, option C megaloblastic anemia and option D iron deficiency anemia. Cystoma hematobium also called urinary blood fluke is a species of digenetic trematode belonging to group of blood fluke and major agent of cystosomiosis. Our option cholangiocarcinoma is called bile duct cancer. Transcension cell carcinoma is called urothelial carcinoma. It is the most common type of bladder cancer and cancer of the ureter, urethra and urethras. Option C, megaloblastic anemia also known vitamin B12 or folate deficiency anemia. In this, bone marrow produce abnormal large blood cell regularly. And option D, iron deficiency anemia cure when the body does not have enough iron. Cystosomia hematobium, huge urethral carcinoma, is also called transition cell carcinoma. So, our correct option is option B, transition cell carcinoma. Our next question is, T-test or student T-test compare and tells you if they are different from each other. Option A, none of these. Option B, two means. Option C, two median. And option D, two modes. T-test, also known as student T-test, is a type of inferential static used to determine if there is a significant difference between the means of two groups which may be related in certain feature. Formula of T-test is T equal to x1 bar minus x2 bar upon under root s1 square by n1 plus s2 square by n2. Here x1 is the mean of first data set, x2 is the mean of second data set, s1 is the standard deviation of first data set, s2 is the standard deviation of second data set, n1 is the number of elements first data set and n2 is the number of elements second data set. So our correct option is option b, two means t test, student t test compare two means and tell you if they are different from each other. Our next question is most widely used method for measurement sodium ion and potassium ion and chloride ion each. Option A spectrophotometry, option B ion selective electrodes, option C flame photometry and option D chlorometry. You know many techniques are available to measure electrolyte like ion selective electrodes also called IAC, atomic absorption, spectrophotometry and flame photometry but most of central laboratories and point of care testing also called POCT device use the ion selective electrode method and most widely use so our correct option is option option b ion selective electrodes our next question is commonly used stand for cytology is option a lisman stand option b pass stand option c pep stand option d Mason trichom stain. We use flowing all stain in cytology. But Pepper Nicholas stain, also called Pep stain, is multichromatic cytological stain technique. Weakly used in cytology, so our correct option is option C Pep stain. Our next question is the virus mentioned below are RNA virus except. Option A influenza virus, option B adenovirus, option C polio virus and option D astrovirus. Influenza virus, polio virus and astrovirus are RNA virus but adenovirus an icosahedral nucleocapsid containing a double standard DNA genome. So our correct option is option B adenovirus. Our next question is the standard deviation of first 50 natural number is option A 45.43, option B 
16.43 option c 20.43 and option d 14.43 we know the standard deviation of first natural number is sd equal to under root n square minus 1 by 12 here n equal to 50 so put the value sd equal to under root 50 square minus 1 by 12 equal to 14.43 so our correct option is option d 14.43 our next question is jumping gene are also known as option a episomes option b transposons option c plasmids and option d cosmids we know transposable elements des also known as jumping gene are dna sequence that move from one location on the genome to another when episomes a genetic elements inside some bacterial cells especially the dna of some bacteriophage that can replicate independently of the host and also in associate with a chromosome with which it become integrated and a plasmid that is attached to the cell membrane or integrated into the bacterial chromosome is called an episomes and cosmid is a type of hybrid plasmid that contain lambda phase co-sequence so we say our correct option is option b transposons our next question is thrombocytopenia is seen in all except option a aml option b iron deficiency anemia option c a plastic anemia and option d megaloblastic anemia the cause of thrombocytopenia in acute amyloid leukemia and a plastic anemia because abnormality of bone marrow and megaloplastic anemia has been postulated as hypoproduction when bone marrow so decreased megakaryocyte and the platelets where in iron deficiency anemia mild thrombocytosis is seen so we know our correct option is option b iron deficiency anemia our next question is the organ of addition in bacteria is option a capsule option b flagella option c mesosomes and option d pembry we know capsule are protective and protect the bacteria from phagocytosis and from lytic enzyme flagella function as organ locomotion mesosomes serve in dna replication and guide distribution of duplicate bacterial chromosomes into the two daughter cells during cell division pembry function are organ of addition so our correct option is option d pembry the organ of addition in bacteria is pembry our next question is out of which is not roman vesky stain option a congo red stain option b lisman stain option c jimsa stain and option d jenner stain the roman vesky type stain include jimsa jenner right field mcgrown wald and lisman stain used in hematology and cytology congo red stain is the gold standard for the demonstration of amyloid in the tissue sections also called amyloid stain so our correct option is option a congo red stain our next question is out of the following which is malignant tumor option a hemangioma option b pleomorphic adenoma option c fibroadenoma and option d lymphoma we know malignant tumor means that the tumor of cancer hemangioma is a birthmark often appearing as a rubbery bright red nodules of extra blood vessels pleomorphic adenoma is a common benign slivery gland neoplasm also known as a benign mixed tumor bmts are the most common salivary gland tumor fibroadenoma is a non cancerous breast tumor that most often occur in young women reproductive hormone may cause fibroadenoma lymphoma lymphoma is a cancer that beginning in infection fighting cell of the immune system called lymphocyte so our correct option is option d lymphoma our next question is rapid diagnostic test for malaria can detect all of the following except option a parasite eldolage option b pbhrp1 
ऑप्शन सी पी एल डी एच ऑप्शन डी पी एफ एच आर पी सेकेंड वी नो रेपिड डायग्नोस्टिक टेस्ट फॉर मलेरिया हैव बीन डेवलप्ड दैट एम्प्लॉय इम्यूनोक्रोमेटोग्राफिक मेथड बेस्ट ऑन द डिटेक्शन ऑफ मलेरियल एंटीजन प्रजेंट इन ब्लड मोस्ट टेस्ट यूज मोनोक्लोनल एंटीबॉडीज एंड डिटेक्ट पार्टिकुलर मलेरियल एंटीजन टेस्ट हैव बीन डेवलप्ड द डिटेक्ट एंटीजन इंक्लूडिंग द हिस्टाडिन रिच प्रोटीन सेकेंड ऑल्सो कार्ड एच आर पी सेकेंड एल्डोलेज एंड पेरासाइट लेक्टेड डिहाइड्रोजिन एल डी एच डिश टेस्ट जेनरेट रिजल्ट विद इन फिफ्टीन मिनट डू नॉट रिक्वायर स्किल्ड माइक्रोस्कोपिस्ट सो वी कैन से पेरासाइट एल्डोलेज पी एल डी एच पी एफ एच आर पी आर डिटेक्टेड बाय रेपिड टेस्ट बट पी बी एच आर पी वन कैन नॉट डिटेक्टेड बाय रेपिड डायग्नोस्टिक सो आवर करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन बी पी बी एच आर पी वन Our next question is: Volutin or metachromatic granules are seen in option A, Klebsiella pneumoniae; option B, Pseudomonas aeruginosa; option C, Cordybacterium diphtheriae; and option D, Staphylococcus aureus. We know some bacteria contain granules composed of polymetaphosphate. They were first described in Spirillum volutans, so they were called as volatile granules. These granules are also known as Ernst granules or polar bodies or metachromatic granules. Volatile metachromatic granules are common in bacteria diphtheria, Gardnerella virginalis, Mycobacterium, Spirillum voluans, Agrobacterium tunicum. So we know after discussion, volatile metachromatic granules are seen in option C, Cordybacterium diphtheria. Our next question is. Colorimeter based on which principle? Option A, Lieberman Burchard. Option B, none of this. Option C, B. L. Lambert law. And option D, Westcott principle. We know the colorimeter is based on B. L. Lambert law, according to which the absorption of light transmitted through the medium is directly proportional to the medium concentration. The Lieberman Burchard or acetic and hydrin test is used for the detection of cholesterol and westcott principle are used to define specific performance limits for a particular assay or test and can be used to detect random and systematic error so we say our correct option is option c colorimeter is based on the principle of beer and lambert's law we will meet our next video Thank you for watching